two. This week's show joining Team Red, taking a break from shouting at sovereign citizens, Schrodinger's cats, the shouty man Hi, in the Fight the Flat Earth intro and Twitch superstar Sam Turbosaurus X Clay, and their team captain joining with audio only because showing his face is a war crime, even when there is no war. Red rhetoric, joining Team Vanilla. He might be a tiny dinosaur in a human suit. Microraptor! Ahoy Hello. hoy! It's Planner Walk! And their team hoy captain, hoy. he smells like vanilla and desperation, Brainy Beaver! And introducing your host, who once got so embarrassed when he accidentally called the teacher mum, he wet himself in class. FTFE! Hello and welcome to Stupidity Is Not A Right, the show about people so dumb it's surprising they can eat their breakfast without digging their eyes out with a spoon. It's still kind of mind-blowing to me that it's 2021 and we've got a flat earth movement. Well, I guess movement is the right word because I have one of those every morning after my coffee. <laughs> people say to me that flat earthers are so dumb that they should only work at McDonald's. I have to disagree with that because I've worked at McDonald's and it's a pretty demanding job. Plus, you know, let's face it, you don't want flat earthers making your food. <laughs> of course, we all know that the earth isn't actually flat. All of the measurements, the experiments, the videos and pictures from space, but mostly, mostly we know because if it was flat, the cats would have pushed everything off the edge by now. Okay, on with the show, we have three rounds to get through. The first round is called What Happens Next, where we will show each team two videos of Flat Earthers about to say or do something stupid. And the team has to figure out what it is. Once they've talked about it, I'll ask the captain for an answer. If they get it right, they get a point. First up is Team Red, Schrodinger's cat. Hello, how are you doing, sir? I can't complain and nobody would want to hear me if I did. <laughs> So, um, you usually spend your time arguing with sovereign citizens instead of flat earthers. So, I guess the question for you is, who is dumber, flurfs or sovereign citizens? Um, I've always said that if there was, were a Venn diagram of sovereign citizens, uh, flat earthers, and anti-Semites, it would be a single circle. So, um, <laughs> they're, they're equally dumb, just in slightly different ways. Yeah, you get a can battle for that, well done. <laughs> All right, Schrodinger's cat, you get the first choice. Would you like one, two, three, or four? Uh, three. Three. Uh, anyway, uh, I want to show you a couple things that are very interesting. I may do a series, a little series of these videos uh, because the double mindedness and the double speak that is would make Orwell just blush. Uh, really comes out with globe earth believers, uh, anything to justify their position. What I did was in this video, I showed a submarine, uh, World War One, World War Two, whatever. He's coming after a destroyer. And as I played this... Right, that was Mr. Thrive and Survive talking about submarines uh, for some reason. But what did he say next? Right, Team Red, take a few minutes, talk amongst yourselves, and when you're ready, Red, you can give me the answer. Okay, I, I already know. So <laughs> it's the same thing with aircraft. If it if the submarine sails straight, it's eventually going to surface is what he's going to say. Uh, do, does everyone else I'm, in the I'm team... I'm confident that, in that answer. Does everyone else in the team agree with that? Uh, or is there any... Other Imagine it would be, be an argument about, about buoyancy or density or some garbage like that. But because right. uh, he has a uh, diagram with a curve on it, I, I, I can agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because I work almost each and every day of my life on submarines. I know exactly how they work, and he's stupid. Oh, yeah, we all know he's stupid. 
What about you, Sam? You don't really spend much time dealing with flat earthers. So uh, what would you think someone that stupid would say next? I mean, I'm just amazed it wasn't a video game. That's that's what I thought it was. Um, <laughs> not a clue. If, if I know anything from any of the videos that you said in any time that you've made me watch them, because, I mean... I don't understand half the things you say. <laughs> probably something along, it's probably something along the lines of fishing rods equals bath water and his rubber duck. I've got no idea. That makes absolutely a lot of sense when dealing with flat earthers. But all right, Reds, you're the team captain, so you get the final say. What do you think Thrive and Survive said next? Uh, because of the curvature of the Earth, the submarine should eventually surface again, just right. on the curvature alone. Okay, let's hear what he actually said. What I did was in this video, I showed a submarine, uh, World War One, World War Two, whatever. He's coming after a destroyer. And as I played this, what happened was, uh, as he would go by, the submarine would necessarily, if it was a ball, Earth, it would start to surface, just like this one is starting to surface over time. Oh, nailed it. Yeah, that's and right. So, um, Fucking Mr. nailed it. <laughs> Mr. Thrive and Survive thinks that submarines, like planes, would need to dip their nose to go over the curve of the Earth. Of course, that isn't true in either case, because, you know, submarines and planes travel in a pressure band, and flat earthers don't understand planes or how to tie their shoelaces. But well done, Team Reds. You get yeah. the Can first point Can I say something ever. else about that? Yes. Uh, just, just by way of explanation of why that won't happen, and I know that you're a submariner, Craig, and you know this as well. But they're they're ballasted to sail at a at a certain pressure depth. If they don't change their ballast, they cannot go higher or lower in depth than what they're ballasted for. They could sail around a curve and definitely twelve times they're never gonna surface or go deeper because they're ballasted for a certain pressure depth. Yeah, no, flat earthers didn't understand any of that. You you realize that, you know. That if any flat earths are working or watching, that would have been the most pointless sentence ever said because they would have just gone derp, derp, derp. But well done. true. <laughs> well but if you, if you take their if you take what they're saying to the next logical conclusion, after it surfaces, it it should become airborne. Yeah, correct. And then go into if space. it keeps going straight. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. So over to Team Vanilla Micro Raptor. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, what is the average IQ of a flat earther? Uh, negative 1. Negative 1. Uh, I think that, that's probably the best, the best answer I get. Or 10 to the negative 17 is always another acceptable answer. Yeah, but that anyway. would have been good too. <laughs> <laughs> so, time to choose. Um, what have we got left? We've got... Um, I'm one, with four, four or two left? Uh, uh, four. I said number, four. I don't remember which one uh, showed okay. me it took. But... It took three. Um, okay. When the Yggdrasil yeah, is gone, go with four, then. we're talking about it reached onto the dome. It reached onto the dome. Once it got cut down, how much of, you know, because supposedly, you know, there's a connection between the air and trees and all this. So if you cut a tree that big down, how much are you going to lose? And you can look at the animals. If you look at the animals of the past, and you look at the animals okay. of today, I'm, I'm gonna they're have twice to... as big. They're twice as big in the past. They right. are twice the size in the past. Right, that was why you are an idiot, talking about animals being big in the past or something. But what did why you are an idiot say next? Brainy and team, take a few minutes, talk amongst yourselves. And when you're ready, let me know what the answer is. I personally Alan. think that uh, he said something so monumentally stupid that it actually melted FTFE. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fair enough. Um, I'm not exactly sure where... He, that one's a little bit harder. The other one was actually quite simple compared to this one. Um, I'm not exactly sure. Does anybody else have any ideas on the team there, Micro Raptor? Because uh, he, he must be talking about... He said, how much did that take away? Is he talking about like oxygen? Like when you cut down a tree, like how much or, yeah, or, or like, or is he saying that you removed a tree so you dropped the pressure or something? Cause there's not a tree absorbing that I, space now. I remember him talking something about plateaus being uh, trees or something. And maybe it was something like that. 
um, like some <laughs> rock formation that looked like a tree stump, and then it kept it away. And it, um, yeah. Uh, and gigantic trees. I don't think he's the gigantic tree guy. He was talking about domes and stuff, though. Yeah. I honestly, I'm at a bit of a loss for that one. I, unless, unless Planner Walk, he's right about it being monumentally stupid, though. This is the thing we can yeah. all agree on. Yeah. yeah. I think that actually, and this, I think that we're on the right track with the giant trees and cutting them down. I think that what he's saying is something about um, the atmosphere uh, be having less oxygen in it because of the trees, uh, because of a giant tree that was cut down. Okay, you guys have had Just like time. not producing enough, so okay, go ahead. Brainy, what is your final answer for the team? Uh, I guess he's talking about... Oh my god, that one's a little bit harder, but he, the only when he's talking about cutting down trees and then the animals, he clearly has to be talking about some sort of oxygen carbon dioxide cycle with it within the earth or whatever. So um, I guess with him, he's saying with it being an open... I would say maybe he's saying with it being an open system, then why, you know, like how, how much oxygen are we losing? How much are we losing to space and stuff? Okay, That's the best well, I got. Let's have a look at what he actually said. I'm going to have to. They're twice as big. They're twice as big in the past. They right. are twice the size in the past. That requires way more air pressure. And since you just so high, mm. there should be no pressure mm. gradient. You remove it. There is a pressure gradient. Yes, yep. guys, you did hear that right. The reason there. Oh, wrong, wrong screen. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So why you are an idiot thinks that the reason we have a pressure gradient in our atmosphere is because there isn't a magical giant tree, you know, stretching all the way up to the dome. His logic behind that is that, well, trees produce oxygen. And if a tree is really big, it's going to produce more pressure up there. But then if the trees cut down, that's why there's a gradient. I know. I'm sorry. I should give face palm warnings, but uh, I'm going to give you the point there. So well done, Team Vanilla. You get a point as well. Right, back to Team Red. Sam Clay. People have asked me I... so many times, when are they getting a full version of the Fight the Flat Earth intro theme? Uh, when they pay me enough money. Right, so it's just about money for you then, is it? God, you're like a Ferengi. <laughs> <laughs> Smaller ears, though. Smaller yeah, yeah, ears, just though. about. Um, so why don't we just take a, a quick listen to Sam shouting incredibly loud on my intro. We're living on a disc, floating through space, with a tiny sun. It's incredible that that noise comes out of you, Sam, because um, aren't you like four foot? Uh, four foot five, actually. Four foot five, you've grown. Thank you very Some, much. Someone's been stretching you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Sam, time to choose. So we have left uh, one or two. Uh, and and which, what's com what comes after one? Um, I'm, I'm not sure. That's too high uh, level maths for me. But should we, should we just go okay, with right. the one we'll, after one? Or we'll go, go with number one? one then. We'll just go one. with number one. Okay. So, that is Flat Out Hero preparing an experiment. Um, but what did we do next? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, Team Red, take a few minutes, talk amongst yourselves. What did Flat Out Hero do next? I know the answer. Right, well, well let's not get the answer uh, I mean, away. it looks to me like he's trying to make the claim that a light is going to disappear behind a flat surface somehow because geometric illiteracy. <laughs> yeah. Out hero, of it, course, being it's the person. A demonstration of something. <laughs> yeah, it's something disappearing bottom up because he doesn't understand that a lot of cement slabs are not made perfectly level so that water will run off. Exactly. Uh, well, that's you, that, Sam, that's what that's look... what I'm going to say. Unless uh, anyone else has anything else, Sam, does this look like any kind of experiment you've ever seen? I mean, I just thought he was going to get out of his marbles and realize that he has no friends. <laughs> well, he definitely does have any. Fr doesn't have any friends. Fat Out Hero is the guy that um, gave a hundred thousand dollar bet that a pilot couldn't do what a pilot does, and then lost and failed to pay up. But anyway, uh, Reds, what is your final answer? What did he do? 
I'm going to say that he uh, turned on the light to try and demonstrate that objects will disappear behind a flat surface because, again, geometric illiteracy. Right. This is what actually happened next. Agreed. Ah, uh, I bet. <laughs> He's so adorable. Flat Earth science. <laughs> 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 Well, there we go. Flat out hero for some reason decided to scrape his lighter towards the camera, uh, possibly to show us this magical perspective that um, we're all still trying to find. But Red uh, and team, your claim is basically right. He is trying to show that things disappear bottom up the further they are away, even on a flat surface, even though what he was showing didn't disappear bottom up and wasn't on a flat surface. So it's a double fail. But you guys get a point. Well done. Right. right. Back over to Team Vanilla. Um, Planner Walk, how are you doing? Yep. I'm doing well, yourself? I'm um, not bad. So uh, what's it like in the Land of Hobbits? Um, well, luckily, we don't have Sauron here, but, you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know I can be worse. You, you were upside down for a while there. Is that the fact that on your side of the Earth, it takes a while after you wake up to orientate to the proper direction? Yeah, I mean, well, we've also got to adjust the NASA CGI. It failed for a bit, so... Yeah, I mean, you are purely just CGI, aren't you? You were the first debunker that was created purely with CGI. Oh, no, I'm a clone, remember? We're not supposed to let that... You... Every time we have you on, you let your secrets out. You... It's just useless. Right, anyway, you don't get a choice because we've only got one left. So here is the last one, number two. Okay, well, this is a different sort of video. It wasn't one of it actually intended to make in any way shape or form whatsoever this is just looking at the tell eye vision and if you look closely which I recommend you do right so that was flat earth Aussie Jesus watching the tell lie vision um, take a few minutes guys talk amongst yourselves what do you think he is going to say next I'm gonna stop. Well, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that he he's jealous of these people playing tennis and he wants to become a tennis superstar. I thought it was the people in the in the white shorts as well. To be honest with you, actually, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> oh, is that is that Feige? Was that Feige, by the way? That's Flatter Fossey Jesus. Yeah. Oh, of course it was. Can, can we can we <laughs> steal it if they get the wrong answer? Can we answer the correct answer? Uh, and they're, get a they're point. You guys, it sounds like you guys have been doing your studying. I haven't been I haven't been jerking off to enough feed lately. I guess <laughs> I, I don't really know where he was going with that. Um, do you guys have any legitimate ideas? Micro Raptor, what do you got to hold on? Say next. <laughs> Well, I Brent do can... know what he's going to say, but... Uh... Right, well, let, let's <laughs> well, then use Raptor, your please. foresight. They, they cheat, too. Okay, we need a rolling on whether or not we can steal the point. Hold on. Uh, Micro Raptor, what's your thoughts? You're making up rules. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I noticed they were moving pretty slowly, so I guess it might have something to do with, like, NASA, like, uh, astronaut moving in in a vacuum and stuff like that, how they were faking, how they were supposedly faking it by, uh, by uh, showing it in slow motion or something like that. Uh, well, uh, is it Cor uh, is it Coriolis with the maybe it's Coriolis and the ball? Maybe yeah, it's like because how can they how can they meet the ball with the Earth moving at the same time? Well, yeah. here's the thing: it it's moves, far more stupider it. than that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Do it. Should, so. <laughs> We so should be able to steal is... the, the point. Right, well, it sounds like a, he was a... holding his, his future knowledge back to try to not, you know, abuse the system of knowledge, you know? Plan so, seems to have get your face palm you protection ready because he thinks yes. that tennis is CGI. Right. Well, and let's have, let's have a it, it, it just it couldn't have been that dumb, right? Let's have a listen to what he <laughs> No, it, it, it gets worse. It's ten, he's saying worse, tennis please. is CGI. And the reason that it's CGI it's is it's getting the human population used to seeing CGI so that you don't recognize it. 
I mean, he's been playing a lot of video games, and maybe. I know the Xbox CGR. S is really nice. I haven't played it myself. I've heard the graphics are pretty yeah. good. I know all the kids are into it and everything. So maybe we need to get this guy some... We're going to... You know what? We're going to get the Fiege package together. We'll get, like, some some FIFA. We'll get the NHL. And then we'll just throw it all at him. And he'll just play for hours like a kid in a candy store. And he'll be like, see, I told you it's all CGI. And you'll be like, that's... Okay, so okay. well, let, let's, all, let's all take a minute and let, let's all just be quiet for one total. second and listen to what Flatter Fuzzy Jesus actually said. And if you look closely, which I recommend you do, you can see this isn't actually real footage at all. This is all somehow CGI rendered whatever crap <laughs> yeah that that's right um so you guys are correct uh planner walk absolutely spot on flyer 40 jesus thinks that the tennis was cgi uh including the hundreds of people in the crowd there were also cgi and the logic behind this is that they're trying to get you used to watching cgi I mean, but I have to give you that in his defense. In his defense, I do need to say that the NHL is currently playing with cardboard cutouts in the stands. <laughs> so, so, yeah. so, like, and even, 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 at, like, even at the the foot at the was the foosball, you know, the big foosball tournament there. Uh, they had uh, <laughs> was it Super Bowl? They had. I noticed when one guy was like, uh, he had been uh, going live on YouTube from there. I can't remember who it was. And I noticed behind him, I said to my wife, "I'm like, there's a whole bunch of cardboards behind him," and she's like, "Oh, that's what they've." Been doing everywhere just cardboard silhouettes in the stands so it looks like there's people sitting in the seats so i mean maybe Feige has just been watching a lot of stuff lately and thinking like i knew it i fucking knew it <laughs> sorry that video is a couple years old yeah uh, that, that's oh is it cool. yeah but uh, here's yeah. the thing like he's just absolutely wrong his like when you go back and look at these things that were that back in the day they thought that it was absolutely realistic CGI and they thought there's, they couldn't tell whether it was real or fake. And then you look at it today, it's like, how could they not tell that it was fake? Right. Right? <laughs> um, hey, Brainy, are you able to turn yourself down just a little? The chat says that you're a little loud. Oh, that's fine. I thought you had control of that on your end, but I guess not on Zoom. Uh, not, no, it's all coming through Zoom. I can't separate the audio out. Uh, no, um, that's easy. Yeah. Uh, if that's okay. better. That's better. Yeah. Just it, hey, tell me if it's still a little noisy. We'll we'll find a nice level and I'll just mark down what it is. Because right. okay. on on every app's different, right? So yeah. Okay. So at the end of that round, Team Vanilla and Team Red both have two points. Congratulations. The next round is Captain v Captain. In this round, I'm going to ask the captains every day normal questions or just say everyday normal phrases that they have to answer as if they were a flat earther. I'm going to arbitrarily decide who wins and give them the point. There's six points up for grabs. So, oh, um, and I haven't put Brainy Beaver's camera in the thing. So give me one second. I was going to say you've got me doing cocaine over there. Uh, where is that one? Happy cat. Check, check, um, check out our latest collab if you haven't seen it, by the way. Yeah. Uh, my bad. Give me one second. I will put Brainy in the correct one. I noticed that you had, you had Planner popping around in the one shot, too. It looked like he was having a seizure and the his head was poking up in the corner there. <laughs> Isn't that there what normally goes. happens? Yeah, you, did too, you were like doing this. It was just like on a repeat back and forth. <laughs> I remember Whoops. seeing it. Oh, uh, this is funny. the first episode, guys. There's going to be some technical problems. But this is a straight up head to head between Red Rhetoric and Brainy Beaver. Um, so you oh, guys, I, I hope you, I hope you prepared in, um, by removing your brains because you have to think like a flat earther. Um, we might start, be better at this. <laughs> we're going to start with <laughs> reds. Okay. Reds. I'm just going to say something to you and I want you to respond to me like you are a flat earther. Ready? Reds. Oh shit. I went on an airplane <laughs> and I'm I not... saw the curve of the earth. Repeat that one more time. I went on an airplane and I saw the curve of the earth. Went on an airplane and I saw the curve of the earth. Um, no, you didn't, because that's just perspective. Perspective. Brainy, what do you think? I went on a plane and I saw the curve of the earth. Hey, 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 FDFE. Hey, 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 hey you, 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 your guy, your guy, what is his name? What is his name? What is his name? His name is, was it, uh, it's uh, that, that uh, uh, Tyson guy, that, that uh, I don't know, Elron Tyson or whatever his name is. He said that stuff is flat. He said it's flat, man. 
flat. You can't. He said it. He told you that it's flat. Sorry, that was my my example. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, I that, think that's I, the correct answer. <laughs> Brainy was much more like a flirt there. Um, Red, you're far too logical. I know it's I know it's hard to think down to their level. Um, but just just seriously, try maybe sticking something sharp in your head. Just free your hair. Take it right out. Round. Yeah. <laughs> so I need to take a Dewalt drill to my temple. Got it. Pretty much. Oh right. God, that was fun. <laughs> okay, Brainy, you first this time. Right, Brainy. The fact that things accelerate towards the ground is evidence that gravity is real. Oh, you have you haven't proven anything yet. The it, it, the object falls because it's denser. FTFE, come on, this is ridiculous. What you think this thing falls because of some magical force, gravity? You call this acceleration? It fell because it's it's got more density than the air around it. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Red, what do you think? Uh, the fact that things accelerate towards the ground is evidence that gravity is real. No, it's not, man. That's just that's just evidence of electromagnetism. Yeah, Ooh. you can't debunk electromagnetism. It, you just you're just parroting what the show Illuminati, Freemason, Nazis are they're telling you because <laughs> Bill Nye, the Science Guy, made a program back in 1992, man. Oh, Red, that was absolutely brilliant. You've uh, come back strong there and won that point. Yeah, that was um, good. Brainy, are you able to take good. your mic down a little bit more, please? Sorry, say that one again? My apologies. Just take your mic down just a little bit more. Still a bit more. Wow, I must yeah, have been really high. God damn. Is saying 25 Wait, maybe more. you're not getting my mic from the same source as I think you are. Well, let me check that. Okay, yeah, you are. Okay. No. Okay, right. Mic check. Boom. Yeah, check, check. That Hopefully that should be better. Um, chat, let us know if that's okay. Right. Yeah, so, just let me know. I'm just turning it down more. It's all good. That's Plus the fact that he guys. is literally high. I'm always high. It's like 24-7. Right, here we go. Question three. Red, the rotation of the Earth has been measured. A 15 degree per hour drift. Uh, yeah, th thanks, Bob. Um, do you mind not interrupting <laughs> next time? I'm trying to do a show here. Red, the rotation of the Earth has been measured. How do you respond? Uh, well, unfortunately, that uh, that experiment was flawed because they didn't figure out how to block the heavenly energies, whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> the heavenly energy. That was his actual reason, wasn't it? Well, with the heavenly energies is the reason we got the fifteen degree drift. I mean, Jesus you Christ, said Bob. you said to you said to answer like a flurf would answer. That's literally what Bob said. That is literally what he said. <laughs> Brainy. The rotation of the Earth has been measured. What do you say? Uh, it, well, you know, we, we thought we, you know, we got that 15, 15 degree per hour shift, but then we realized that we were doing the experiment on an merry-go-round. And so, I mean, we had to, like, <laughs> we had to get Nathan off. Everybody had to get off. We had to start again. So uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get back to you. But we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna create an electromagnetic field with uh, bismuth or dog shit. We're not sure which is going to work better. <laughs> for dog shit. <laughs> um, I, I think the fact that Red's literally quoted the guy that did the experiment there means that he sounded a lot more like a flurf. So that's one more point to Red's rhetoric. Well done. Right, Brainy. Um, humans have been to space. We've seen the entire Earth from space. Oh, you show me a picture. You show me a picture of Earth that isn't CGI. You even hey, hey, that that Rob Simmons, that 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 guy that I'm not sure if he if he's that guy that did the I'm, I'm a pony or if he's that some guy that that's, that made some picture. But that Rob Simmons guy, no, who's the other Simmons guy? That Rob <laughs> Simmons guy, that son of a bitch. He 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 did it. He put it together. It has to be. It's CGI because it has to be. You Very ask him. There's no pictures of Earth. Very flurf like Reds. We've been to space. We've seen the entire Earth from space. How do you respond? Um, well, I can tell that that's fake because does it look like a pear to you? Exactly, it doesn't. Checkmate, Globers. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson did say that the Earth's a pear, so I guess Reds wins that point as well. Um, lastly, Brainy. Uh, over, no, actually, there's two more. Uh, Reds. If we're supposed to be just quoting flurfs here, this is a different game. Because <laughs> they, because well, that's they're the ultimate stupid. How are you supposed to ever compete? <laughs> Anyways, go um, ahead. Keep going. I think the okay. chat want you to turn down a little bit more. Say another ten percent. 
Is it really like, because that's crazy. Zoom is taking a completely different approach to OB than OBS does to the audio. Yeah. But yeah, that's fine. Right, okay. I don't care. It's um, just, a, just a slider. Red, uh, even though there's a flat earth movement, how come flat earth has never contributed anything to humanity? Oh, so you want us to be part of the system. <laughs> you want us to be part of the layer of dishonesty. You want us to be part of the chapel of BS and CGI and the lizard people. I think not, good sir. I think not. <laughs> Conspiracy. <laughs> Brainy, same to you. <laughs> Why has Flat Earth never contributed anything to humanity? Oh, 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 what you like, like NASA's contributed? You mean like, like, like NASA's contributed? You mean like they've done it? What has NASA ever done for you, FTFE? What have you ever, what have you ever gotten from NASA other than CGI pictures? Fake, fake, you know, like, come on, come on, come on, come on, FTFE, tell me, what has NASA ever done for you? Oh, uh, um, a, a lot, but you're right. That's very furf like. I'm going to give Brainy the point there. Um, lastly, Brainy, over to you. Oh, Brainy, look, a bird. <laughs> it's fake it's absolutely fake my name is hans <laughs> hans worm hat <laughs> it's a robot fake animals. that in Austra that in australia that planter rock guy too that son of a bitch isn't even there <laughs> red look a bird in a world where birds are cgi <laughs> in a world where they will lie to you about feathery leaving things there comes a brainy beaver who also doesn't believe in birds, but that's simply because he's high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you guys must have really, really struggled with that. Thinking down to first level isn't easy, is it? So, um, at the end oh, of that, I just round, threw that one away. I just said screw it because I, I'm sorry. I gave being you the point yeah, that's pretty much all you can say. <laughs> At the end of that round, Red's team has one, two, three, four, five, six, and Team Vanilla has one, two, three, four. So Team Red's is currently in the lead. Right. Final round. The final round is called What is in the Flues, where each team is going to get two Flat Earth News headlines with part of it blanked out, and they have to guess what the missing part is. Same as before, someone's going to choose a number, they'll be shown part of a headline, then the team will discuss amongst themselves when they're ready. The captain can give me the answer. We're going to start with Team Vanilla. Planner Walk, how are you doing? Uh, doing the same as last time you asked me. Yeah, you're still in New Zealand, right? Yes, I think so. I, mean, I didn't move place. to Australia. You know that's not a real place, right? You're making it up. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> it's all fake. So you've been talking with Flat Earthers for quite a while. So what, what would you say is one of the most uh, incredibly dumb things you've heard a Flurf say? Um, there's so many. I can't, I can't remember the dumbest thing that I've ever heard them say. The, that, the laser is broken was pretty dumb, though. <laughs> there's something wrong with that laser. Yeah, there, there's something wrong with that laser. <laughs> oh, that's never going to stop being funny. All right, time for you to choose. Planner walk. One, two, three, or four. Uh, well, um, I think we'll start with three. Okay. So, coming in 2020, the Flat Earth what? This was a headline from last year. So, talk amongst yourselves. Coming in 2020, the Flat Earth what? Well, 2020 was a pretty pretty well flat earth did die quite a bit there so flat earth death maybe <laughs> nathan thompson's <laughs> community <laughs> sure did <laughs> flat earth virus. what was that uh, micro Go ahead, micro the flat earth virus the, vi the virus yeah well, i uh, it was a joke yeah <laughs> sorry <laughs> that one <laughs> well we uh <laughs> I, I might have missed the narrative of the of the proper question, but basically it was like, like twenty twenty is the year of what? Well, this is a head. It's a news headline from from last year, right? Uh, so you've got to tell me what is the blank bit. So the headline is coming oh, in twenty twenty, the flat Earth, and what's blanked out? 
Well, there were a couple of things. So there was that Logan Paul movie. But then there was also that thing that they... I don't know if it was 2020 or whether it's 2021 or uh, 2030 or um, 2100. <laughs> but uh, when they decide to go into the ice wall or something, the expedition to the ice wall. Oh, possibly. Um, right, Brainy, you're the this captain. Is a real, this is a real title from a, yeah, from a real news this is news a real article? news title. Jesus. So uh, you're the captain. Oh, my God. What was the blank? Coming in 2020, what was it? The flat earth what? Oh my God! I can't even imagine what would make them newsworthy other than just convention. Okay, convention is your answer. Here is what the actual answer was. Coming in twenty twenty, the flat Earth. Oh, I remember cruise. this. <laughs> oh, that's so right. So this is a news story from. Sorry, one sec. This is a new story. <laughs> themed cruise. That's amazing. Yeah, this is a, uh, a new story from <laughs> MaritimeExecutive.com talking about how the Flat Earth International Conference last year was going to be a cruise. It's a good thing that didn't happen because, you know, COVID and the fact that Flat Earthers on a cruise, they're not going to have great navigation, are they? That fucking ship's getting lost. It's, it's not coming back. Actually, if you think about it differently, if they were timed that cruise just right, it might have been prime to, like, <laughs> this is pretty dark, but it might have been prime to, like, remove a large portion of the head, you know, the entire, it'd be like taking the, sna the head right off the snake. We could be like, they'd be bringing it into port, and they're going to be like, you have to let them in, it's humanitarianism. And they'll say, sir, the boat is full of flat earthers. They'll say, oh, I'm sorry, we can't hear... <laughs> Sorry, the port authority's not working. The radio's broken. <laughs> Zombies! No, look out! Stay on the ship. You're safer there. Ah! <laughs> well, uh, unfortunately, the funny thing is, no, no nation would let that ship get underway with a a captain and a first officer and and a bridge team that were flat earthers. So the ironic thing would be, it would be globe earthers sailing a ship full of flat earthers that think that the people that are driving this ship don't know the shape of the earth. <laughs> I mean, I mean the final straw would be when the, when the guy leans over to the military officer's shoulder and he says, sir, there's a statistical likelihood that, that flat earthers are also Karens. He would pick up the phone right there and be like, I need, I need NORAD now. We need to put this <laughs> ship down. <laughs> you wonder if the captain would sacrifice himself for the good of humanity. <laughs> Go down with the ship. He's down on the bottom pulling a big plug. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> or, they, or, or they just take a rescue vessel and just in the middle of the night, they all just leave. Uh, a just, flat just put the ship on autopilot. The cost, that was the cost of Concordia. That happened already. Uh, a flat earth, <laughs> like anything, you know, anything run by flat earthers is just destined to be an absolute clusterfuck. Um, uh, I would never go on a ship run by flat earthers. Like I said in my intro, I wouldn't eat food made by flat earthers. Right, over to Team Red. Sam, you having fun? Oh yeah, tons. I've understood all of about four words. <laughs> well, you don't normally deal with so much stupid, do you? I, I don't normally deal with so much of anything, I'll be honest. Like, there's, a right. lot, there's a lot going on. Like, you, <laughs> you normally deal with video games rather than stupid because you are a Twitch ultra mega star, aren't you? Uh, yeah, if, if Ultra Mega Star means that you sit in jogging bottoms five days a week playing <laughs> as female characters, then yeah, that's me. Superstar. Do you know I mean, if you have enough people watching you play in those female characters, that's all that really matters. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, no, ab ab absolutely, Go Golden Star. Like mo mo move over, Nick Merckx. No one even knows who he is. <laughs> so you don't need to be a booby streamer. You just you know play as the female characters instead of having your own. Yeah, no, this is it. I have to, I, I get to forego the having the the cat ears on my uh, on my headphones and they're dressing up as an anime character. So long as I play female characters in my video games, it's it's it's, it's actually in the Twitch rules. Do you not think that you are might you going to get... ask your fans for twenty dollars or five, <laughs> uh, or else they shouldn't be watching you? Yeah, I uh... <laughs> can invader by there. You can do some sub shaming. Be like, you just get your character to swing around a bit. Like, listen, boys, unless you got five dollars, you should be out making five fucking dollars. Right? There's only there's only one way to conclude whether he's actually legit or not, and that's the answer to this question, uh, sir. Have you started selling your bath water yet? 
<laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> I actually had that set up pre-planned before I even uh, typed in my Twitch name. Well, that was the the bathwater has actually been getting moldy. It's been in the jars for a while. There's there's obviously oh, some organic particles in there. Oh, it's worth more now. Absolutely. How many strips of latinum for your bathwater? Like, even I by the radiator, legit, right? I get to <laughs> legit put organic on the label now. That's like, you know, that boosts the price. My, my, it's my almost wife... like one of those friendship breads that's starting to take on its own life, right? And it has nutrition facts bottles. label yeah. on the back of it. And you're like, what the hell? <laughs> Sam, I, just, uh, I, I also do just a really dodgy drawing with a crayon of uh, like one of those people on lush bottles that say this was bottled by Sven. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sam, Emma says she wants 10 bottles. So can we have those ready? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, it will probably take me about six months worth of bath water because, as you know, I'm a miniature human being, so I don't need to use that much water. Like, so, yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's like you just got to put like a label on it says like James, Char James Charles, except the L is going to be a one. <laughs> That's their fault if they don't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I need to put my makeup on. Oh, yeah. So, Sam, if you were uh, playing a game of Warzone uh, and one of your team members was a flat earther, would you be worried? Uh, I mean, not so much, if I'm honest, because I could literally just send them to like the edge of the map, telling them that they would find like you know what they were looking for, and then I'd never have to worry about them ever again because the gas would kill them. <laughs> the ice wall. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they should make a flat Earth War Zone game, just you know, with the, with the ice wall slowly coming in instead of the gas. No, honestly, they they genuinely get scared like playing it. I've I've heard this because they think it's real because everything's CGI, <laughs> right? And then CGI, yeah. so as soon as they start plugging into Warzone, literally, like, you've got no idea how many Flat Earth deaths there are. Ever since they came up with Ready Player One, this shit has been weird. <laughs> 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 Those right. guys are reading way too much, you know? Sam, time to I mean, choose. that would be incredible. Uh, we have uh, one, two, or four. What would you like? Uh, I would like four, please. Okay, so, will blank kill off Flat Earthism once and for all? This is another news headline. So, guys on Team Red, what is the blank there? Pornhub. <laughs> uh, wait, um, what, was, what was... Let me read the headline again. Uh, headline is... Will blank kill off flat earthism once and for all? I would say SpaceX. Um... Yeah, except that gap is uh, the amount that's covering doesn't look like it would say SpaceX. Um, Mars exploration. I'm, I'm going to go with a name. I'm going to go with maybe Elon Musk. So you think that maybe Elon Musk is going to kill off Flat Earthism once and for all? Sam, what do you think? What do you think might kill off Flat, flat Earthism once and for all? I mean, I didn't take size into the, uh, into the aspect of the blank there, but I'm sticking with Pornhub. Pornhub, right. Um, unfortunately, Red's well, the captain. Elon Musk and SpaceX should be synonyms in this Yeah, instance. they pretty much mean the same thing. I think I know. I, I have a guess, but we're <laughs> not allowed to steal, are. sir. No. I would, I would say it's, yeah, it's either Elon Musk or SpaceX, but because of the, the how much is actually being blocked, Space I'm going to say Elon Musk, and that, that, that's my final answer, at least. Okay. I, so, have, a, I have a question, by the way. Is yeah. the article on the just the word no because they're always gonna come up with the excuses? <laughs> I, I think we should change our answer to space tourism. Space tourism. <laughs> right. Okay. So well, here space tourism. is what yeah, the it's, answer. Actually well, it's was. it's it's one of it's one of three things. It's ah, damn it. So will <laughs> COVID nineteen kill off flat earthism once and for all? This comes from a story of, uh, from BigThink.com correlating the link between flat earthers and anti-vaxxers uh, because most flat earthers are also anti-vaxxers. And let's face it, you don't take the vaccine, you're more likely to die of COVID-19. So COVID-19... Uh, they meant like literally kill. <laughs> yeah, probably. I, I, I actually <laughs> made this exact comment. I'm, surprised, yeah. I'm not surprised. Right, so unfortunately, Red's team, you do not get a point there. So uh, yeah, fair over, enough. Back yeah, over to nobody would have got that. Team Vanilla. Um, Micro Raptor, how are you doing? Same as before. So, who is your favorite YouTuber? 
mm. man this spot, eh? Say Schrodinger's cat. Uh, well, He's like, say it or as I kick you off forever, FTFE <laughs> says. You're surrounded by YouTubers, so you better answer right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that depends on the topic, but yeah, um, when it comes to flat rate, it's actually MC Tunes, so I guess I'm kicked off. Um, uh, but yeah, yeah, so yeah, this I is the last time you'll see Michael Raptor on the channel, guys. <laughs> That's a respectable answer. Well, I mean, nobody can yeah. argue with that. MC Tune is awesome. MC Tune is yeah. one of my favorite debaters, mm. uh, absolutely, and he will be on the show at some point as well. How about we ask um, my AI what who the best uh, YouTuber is? Computer, who's the best YouTuber? FTFE is the best YouTuber on the flat earth. Wait, what did she say? <laughs> Mine calls me Rudy, Big Rudy. She, did you hear what she said? <laughs> she, she said I'm the best YouTuber on the flat earth. Alexa, we're going to have words you, later. Yeah. It's, okay. Would you have Alexa or a Google? I thought you had Google. Or do you have no, Alexa? That's your problem. We, Alexa kicks the ass out of Google Home. Come on. Uh, get with well, well get we with clearly the show that, that Alexa's got some science problems. That's exactly what a show <laughs> for Jeff Bezos would say. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Right, Microraptor, time for you to choose. We have left one or two. Uh, one. One. So, man joins what to prove the Earth is flat? Quickly finds out it isn't. Man joins what to prove the Earth is flat? Quickly finds out it isn't. Team Vanilla, what do you think? <laughs> A short gap. It's gotta be NASA. <laughs> or cult. Uh, I think Michael Raptor said a Netflix documentary there. That's a good answer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think it's NASA. He joins joins NASA to prove it's it's flat. Finds out it isn't. That's what I think is in there. It's a very short gap too. Maybe we have to. Maybe we need to retype these so you don't actually have the original gap size. Oh no no! But, it's uh, giving you hints. <laughs> Planner Walk, what do you think? I, Man joins. I don't think I'm necessarily right. I'm just saying it definitely helps you knowing the gap size in there. Well, I, I said cult. Cult. Man cult. joins cult to prove the Earth is flat. Quickly finds out it isn't. But flat Earth is a cult, so mm. they, they kind of think the other way. Joins. Uh, and brain needs to focusing on the size. You know, size doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's what some of the women will tell you, anyways. They, they try to convince you. It's okay, baby. It's motion. It's all motion. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, brainy, brainy, I, I, it I could be, it could be joined baby, school or university. I think it's NASA. That's what I... Yeah, I think it's NASA. Right. Just, but... And here's the actual answer. It's not going to be NASA. No, that's the wrong one. Yeah. But, see, you did. You did. You pulled a fancy. My wife just uh, said the wrong one. It was one. <laughs> She's now giving you... The Wait, answer. are you the giving the other team? Yeah, there we go. Joins <laughs> Navy. Man okay. joins Navy see, to prove the Earth name number of letters. Quickly finds out it isn't. Uh, yeah, so absolutely. Yeah. Someone joined the Navy. This comes from a story from iflscience.com. <laughs> Uh, where a man joined the Royal Navy to try and prove that the Earth is flat, quickly found out because of navigation that it isn't. Oh, can you send me that story, Craig? Sorry, one sec. Production. Are you sure computer. that it wasn't that his fr he talked about flat Earth so much that he was attacked with a hammer on site? And then <laughs> stopped talking about it? Maybe that's actually the real story. He, he joined the Navy because he wanted to prove the Earth is no. flat. He's like, navigation will prove that the Earth is flat quickly found out that the navigation showed right. that the Earth couldn't possibly be flat. So got it all completely wrong. Yeah. Now, obviously, you guys... Craig, that send me that story. Time. I want to make a video about it. No worries. Will do. Right. So over Thank to you. Team Red, Schrodinger's cat. Um, I think I'm left with what? one Number one, right? You are. But quickly, I want to ask you first, what is the dumbest thing that you've heard sure. Sovereign Citizen say? Uh, you you cut out for a second. The dumbest hurt thing I've heard a flat earther say. A sovereign citizen say. Oh, a sovereign citizen say. Oh, okay, uh, we just went over this last night on a live stream that I had. Um, a uh, a sovereign citizen's on the side of the road. The police are about to smash his window to get him out of the car. Um, keep in mind his children are in the car, young children. They tell him that he's under arrest, and he said, "I can't be under arrest." I'm not tired. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard a sovereign citizen say. Oh my god. They're, they're almost as dumb as flat earthers. They're, they're definitely on the same level. 
Um, now, I'm going to need yeah, you guys to pretend keep, you didn't Keep in mind that. that the live stream that I had last night was me and three lawyers. Yeah. So well, imagine them that. hearing this <laughs> for the first time. Right. Here if you is haven't your seen that, headline. go back and watch it. Here is your headline. So NASA astronaut says flat earthers need what? Um, Team Red, what do you think? What does a NASA I, astronaut say the flat earthers need? A brain education. transplant. <laughs> they I'm, need I'm brain a brain education. transplant. They need to empty the dog shit that is currently rolling around in their head. They need help. They need counseling. They need to appear on an episode of Dr. Phil. Okay. Uh, Sam. I think I can only you... pick one of those, though. So I'm going to go with brain surgery. Let's go with brain surgery. Well, let, let's ask Turbosource X, the best Twitch streamer on this panel. Um, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> what do you think NASA astronauts say that flat earthers need? Uh, I'm going to pretend like I didn't actually see the answer when Good Emma man. put up the wrong slide uh, <laughs> and say an Xbox Series X because they are really bloody hard to get hold of. Have you even tried? They're ridiculous. Yeah, it's impossible. <laughs> you, you know me, Sam. I would, I've been trying every day to get a bloody um, Xbox Series X. It's just not working. Um, <laughs> uh, but Red, yeah, they need the captain. One. So what, what's your answer? What does an astronaut say that flat earthers need? I'm going to stick with my original. Education. They, they, need, they need brain surgery and counseling. <laughs> Right, so here is the actual answer, which you didn't see already before. NASA astronaut says that flat earthers need to go back to school. Well, of course they do. This is uh, a story so from, was right. from ladbible.com, where Mike Massimo, who has been in space three times and has completed two spacewalks, totaling more than 14 hours, is astonished that there is flat earthers and said, well, if they go back to school, then they probably wouldn't be flat earthers anymore. I, I mean, technically, it isn't isn't going to school technically like going to therapy in a way. So I, I think that should count. Yeah, uh, absolutely. So I'm a double. <laughs> you clearly <laughs> didn't go to my school. I don't understand science. <laughs> and that, that Riley quote there tells us that it's the end of the round and the end of the show. The final scores are Red's team. Team Red has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Team Vanilla has one, two, three, four, five, six. So the winners of the first show is Team Red. Congratulations, Red's Rhetoric, Planner, uh, not Planner, okay, not team. Congratulations, Red Rhetoric, Schrodinger's Cat, and Sam Turbosource X Clay. Well done. You win absolutely nothing. I hope you're proud. Yay, we will be selling our bath water oh, I will... to celebrate this momentous occasion. It's great. It's awesome. So excited. Not more war crimes. I was <laughs> led to believe that I was going to get one of those really big checks. Yeah, um, you're, you're going to get one of those really big checks, but it's not going to be able to be cashed. I, I don't care. I just want the really big check. Okay, we can do, I do think that. that. I do think that this was on, um, a little bit unfair. I mean... This team had four people on it, and the other team had two. Wait, what? I mean, you said I was part of Red's team, right? Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, well done, Planner Walk, for, for winning as well. Brainy, you didn't realize that Planner Walk was actually a spy for the other team. So, um... for, uh, for my trophy, I want Planner Walk's hand-drawn YouTube award. You have to send that to me now. That's mine now. I own it. <laughs> Oh, uh, um, I want to say thank you to my. everyone for joining. Um, I want to say thank you to my good buddy, Sam Turbosaurus X Clay, for doing the intro to my channel and giving it that amazing sound that you all love to hear. Sam, thank you very much for taking the time to come on. You're welcome anytime. Um, if you want to see Sam live, then hit him up on Twitch with Turbosaurus X. How often do you stream, Sam? Uh, currently, I can't go to work, so five days a week, uh, every weekday from 11 a.m. GMT. Nice. Well, if you guys want to watch some uh, good gaming, check out Sam Turbosaurus X Clay on Twitch. Uh, Schrodinger's Cat, thank you very much. Um, congratulations on passing me in subs. I hate you now. <laughs> I was worried about I was legit. I'm, I'm not even kidding. I was legit worried that you would... Like, be mad at me. Of course I'm not mad. I'm when proud. I passed you. You're one of my little YouTube babies. <laughs> <laughs> I know, um, I know, I know. 
but I'm I'm coming up. I'm creeping up on 50k, and I'm gonna have a uh, 50k special, and I I need you and uh, Brainy Beaver and a bunch of other people to be there uh, I'm for, sure to help me celebrate that. And um, everybody that doesn't know, I know that uh, that you, Craig, and Brainy, and everybody knows who Radical is. Uh, Radical is hugging right up to the 10,000 subscriber mark. So if you're watching and you are not subscribed to Radical, uh, do yourself a favor and go do that so that I can tell him that I helped him get past 10,000 and then he owes me a favor. Awesome. Thank you very much. Micro what kind of favor? <laughs> Michael Raptor, thank you very much for joining today. I hope you've had a good time. Yeah, I had. It's been really fun. Nice that you are a uh, constant member of the community. I'm always seeing you in the chats and in Discord. Uh, it's amazing that this community is so strong, and thank you for being a, a massive part of the community. It's awesome to have you around. Yeah, same to you. Uh, and the rest of you. Thank you very much, Michael Raptor. Planet Walk, we're going to be going over to your channel in a bit uh, to have a rush of yep. Stupid. Um, what are we talking about this time? Ah, there's quite a few things. So there's the standard Karens um, that all, you know, or anti-maskers, should I say. Well, well, that's interchangeable, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's, there's a lot of interesting stupid this time. That's why it's so hard to come up with a, uh, with a topic. There's a little bit about the stonks stuff, so. Stonks. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yep. Well, uh, in half an hour, we can come back for that on uh, Planet Walk's channel. Um, thank you, Red and Brainy, for being captains. They're going to be here every week to help us talk about the stupidity of Flat Earthers. There will be a brief after show on my channel to go through the super chats that I've got because uh, I, I don't want to do the super chats on this. I want to keep this as you know a cohesive program on its own without the, the, the extra stuff. So if you'd like to just come back for brief after show, we'll go over the few super chats that we've had. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, Schrodinger's Cat and Red. Thank you, Micah Raptor. Thank you, Planner Walk and Brainy Beaver. Come back next week for another episode of Stupidity Is Not Right. Remember, stupidity is not a right. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat.